Today's top story, a bold start to the Fed's easing cycle. The central bank surprised some on Wall Street by cutting interest rates 50 basis points Wednesday, marking its first rate cut in four years. Here with the takeaways from the Fed's monetary policy decision is our own Fed correspondent, Jennifer Schoenberger. Jenna, it, it seems like some were shooketh, some were not. <laughs> what do you make of this? Yeah, Brad, frankly, I was one of those who was surprised that the Fed opted to cut by 50 basis points. But clearly, Fed Chair Powell said that the decision was rooted in confidence that inflation is falling back to 2 percent and a commitment to stave off further weakness in the job market. Couple of takeaways from here. First, the key is that Powell does not think the Fed is behind the curve. They actually view this as a proactive move to make sure the Fed does not fall behind. They're trying to preserve strength in the economy and the job market. And personally, I think this was the right move. I think it shows they wanted to catch up from July, even though Powell said that wasn't the case. He sort of went back, though, to say that had they had the July jobs report in hand during the July policy meeting, they may have cut. But they looked back at both July and August jobs report for this meeting. Secondly, the Fed started with a bang, but the path they laid out for the remainder of this year and next was much more gradual with two smaller cuts this year and then just four next year. So far fewer than what the market was pricing in. And that makes sense, given that this economy is still showing strength and that the Fed has not declared victory over inflation yet. Guys. All right, Jones, we have this decision now. There was so much drama leading up to it. Now let's look ahead to what could happen at the next meeting in November. Lots of questions about what exactly the Fed is going to do, what metrics are going to be paying most, uh, I guess, close attention to. What do you think? Right. So if we look at the dot plot, we see that there are two 25 basis point rate cuts that are implied for the remainder of the year. So I would expect them to cut by 25 basis points in November for that to become more of a jumbo size 50 basis point rate cut. I think we would need to see greater deterioration in the job market between now and that November meeting. All right, Jennifer Schomburger, great stuff yesterday. Great question there when you were in the room with the Fed chair. Jennifer, thanks so much.